Welcome back to this new inspirational video. Today I wanted to talk about pay careful attention to how you feel and do you actually feel that you can succeed because it's a very very important part of our own powers of consciousness. If we don't feel that we can succeed well I have something to tell which you're gonna learn through this video and that is that if you feel you can succeed then you will but if you feel that you don't then you won't. Now I actually wrote a script here and this is going to be a little different than my normal videos because I'm looking at the monitor as I'm going to go over this with you and then I'll let you to consider it for yourself after this video on how you can apply these ideas or whether you want to or not that's up to you but I think they can be pretty insightful to some of you out there so what I wrote was you don't want to feel something will occur physically in the future even though it seems like the natural attitude we have to dare turn that concept around and feel that it has already happened and keeps on happening in this very moment. We feel the joy and hope, not in the future when we think it will happen, but we embrace it right here and now, so joy can be ours. As we keep doing whatever we feel inspired to do in order to express the dream. It will take careful consideration on our parts to really figure out whether we are doing this since more often than not we are actually delaying the good we desire to some future time when we think it will or can occur for us physically speaking so if we truly feel as if our dream is already a reality we unleash through confidence and faith from within the sort of confidence and faith that ultimately is the only thing we need in order to make any dream a reality at this point we might consider this from an even deeper place. First we develop the feeling that we can succeed and then we realize we want to magnify and transform it into feeling we already have succeeded. For once you can truly feel you already have succeeded, you will instantly connect metaphysically speaking with the deepest aspects of your own dream that will then start to be expressed with and through you. This means your actions will automatically change around and line up with what your dream dictates they will be. You no longer have to stress or worry or consciously put in great effort figuring out what to do. You actually become inspired from the depths of your own being on the actions you should take. And it will feel great once you consciously become aware of this process. Knowing a great power is helping you to realize your dreams in life, because it's very true. The universe is going to help you out if you allow it. You just have to open up your mind in the right way. And you know, the opening up happens once the emotional state is in alignment with what you want. So no more contradicting feelings. Remember that. Nothing physically can provide you permanent happiness. This is why it's important to learn to feel great at all times under all circumstances. Even though it seems almost impossible to do so, it is worth putting in the effort since it greatly increases the quality and enjoyment you get out of life in comparison to living your old life where feelings were swinging back and forth between good and bad. So if you notice yourself not feeling as great as you know you should, it's a sign that this is the work you're called upon to perform. You are called upon to control your emotions and unleash the positive from within and make it a habitual way of your existence then everything else can fall into place in all areas of your life and they will and must improve ultimately what you will discover is that no matter how much we study metaphysical teachings as long as we don't train ourselves to operate from a positive emotional state none of the information can really make a huge difference for us it is once we are filled with love and gratitude while applying the wisdom, we start to see results where we are approaching anything we do from the most optimistic frame of mind. Based on my own personal experience, I've found this to be the case. I know I'm unable to effectively apply the power of my own consciousness. That is, I'm not able to really create positive results in my life if I'm operating from a negative emotional state of being. This should become an important reminder that we have to learn to control our own emotions. If we feel bad, we have to discover for ourselves that through total relaxation and redirection of focus, we can shift away from the negative and bring it in 
to the positive and then we should magnify those positive feelings by staying focused on how good it makes us feel and then through constant practice learn to live day in and out in such uplifting states. If we look at it carefully, this may very well be one of the greatest obstacles humanity has to overcome. We can all study things intellectually, but we are less aware of how to embrace knowledge and wisdom emotionally. For once we take that side of the equation into account, everything will change for the better. Analyze it for yourself. Perhaps you have studied the mind in your own way for a long time, but nothing seems to really improve. If you control your emotions, such a thing is impossible. So basically it's impossible to not realize your dreams. If you but can control your emotions, really let that one sink in. It's so important to grasp that part and to consider it for yourself. Because this actually provides evidence on what we should do besides studying. We should learn to control our emotions so we can unleash true joy and well-being from within. Once such a state is achieved, it becomes increasingly more easy to apply these ideas and also to actually enjoy your life on a much deeper level. A person who studies metaphysics while not in control of their emotions makes slower progress than a person who studies metaphysics and controls their emotions. So one person studies while having their emotions go all over the place and the other person is studying while feeling deep gratitude, joy and love as they study. Who will be more effective in applying what they learn and seeing results? I'm sure you know the answer. Now if you're new to this channel consider subscribing to receive inspirational videos on a regular basis. And with that being said, dear viewer, never forget that we are the dreamers.